Did you know that you could zero a slick armor with a single mag with express buckshot in an MP153 that has a pen value of only 3? Fascinating, right? Yeah, the minimum armor damage is 1 and express has 9 pellets, which will each do 1 damage. So you end up dealing 81 damage in 1 mag, including the round in the chamber. Now, if you're looking to figure out how much damage different rounds do to armor and how the different bullet characteristics affect it, then you're in the right place. Hello everyone, this is CZTL, and today we're gonna to be setting off on a journey to try to calculate armor damage. This video assumes that you know the basics about ballistics, penetration, and armor. If you need more information, I'll provide some helpful background links, a link to the data collected in the model that I made, as well as a link to my Discord, where I can answer any questions you have, and you can interact with a growing community of people who love Escape from Tarkov. Now let's start to get into the good stuff. I started my journey by choosing ammo based off some preliminary things I knew about how armor works. For example, using Magnum Buckshot and dealing 8 damage to the target. I did a couple of tests with 9x19, but I wasn't really learning anything until I switched to 545. Using 545 BT, I started noticing that almost every shot, regardless of the armor durability, was doing the exact same amount of armor damage. That was pretty interesting. I always thought that you would decrease the amount of damage done to the armor because you would start penetrating it. And I was under the assumption, along with many others in the community, that ammo that penetrates armor does less damage to it. I do want to say that there were a few cases where this did happen, but they were rare compared to the other situations. Fascinating, right? This means that I could continue testing shooting armor even after scavs tried to interrupt and ruin my day by damaging it. I just had to heal a bit sooner. I realized that I had to switch to a higher pen ammo to really figure out the mechanics of armor damage, so I switched to BS ammo. This led me to my second interesting discovery. If your bullet can penetrate armor, it will do the exact same damage to any armor of that same material, regardless of the class. I'm gonna let that sink in a bit. That's right. BS was doing the same amount of armor damage to AACPC as press armor, which both use ultra high weight molecular polyurethane. And boy, that's a mouthful to say. Another interesting thing here is I would see myself slowly start to do more damage as the armor was damaged until it spiked upon penetration where it did roughly 60% of the hit points dealt instead of roughly 40% like the wiki says. While still using a 545 gun, I wanted to see what would happen with ammo that wouldn't pen any armor. I had another interesting discovery with 545 US ammo with 15 pen. The tier 4 M1 rig took more damage than the tier 3 Untar armor and the tier 2 Paka. When armor was hit with ammo that had almost a 0% chance to pen, it would do damage based off of the same destructibility ratios of the material that they're made of. That is very interesting that armor of a higher class took more damage from a round that did not have nearly enough penetration to get through. This is all great information, but it was not helping me get to a formula. I had to figure out how much of each stat was affecting the armor damage. I did this by finding rounds that had the same pen value and armor damage value, but different damage values. The two rounds I used were 7.62 by 25 PST GCH and 45 ACP Match FMJ. I got identical armor damage results shooting the same sets of armors, so damage has no effect on armor damage. Next, I wanted to see which had a greater impact on armor damage, the pen value or the armor damage percent. I used M62 and M85A1 during these tests, which both have armor percents of 0.52 and 0.75 respectively, or 44% greater, with identical pen values. While doing the test with A55A1, I briefly wanted to check to see if the velocity had any impact on armor damage, and it did not. After firing these ammos at the same armors, I could not easily explain the results. It seemed that it didn't matter whether or not the round could penetrate or not, because some materials had a 42% increase, and some had as low as a 20% increase. 
and that was solely based off of the material that they were using. The only types of armors that did not have a correlation of 1 to 1 with armor damage percent in this test were ceramic and armored. I knew it was going to be very difficult to find an equation after this, but I proceeded to isolate the penetration value. To do this, I used SP5 and SP6. SP5 has a penetration value of 28, and SP6 has a penetration value of 46, with a 64% increase. These rounds had an identical armor damage percent of 0.6. Similar to the above test, Materials I couldn't penetrate with a material destructibility below 0.5 had less than a 64% increase. Although not as bad as my previous tests, with AACPC only being 48% more. All materials I could penetrate had increases close to or way above 64%, going above 110 for Tequila's armor and 64.3. The interesting thing about Tequila's armor increase is it's made of the fourth best material. So it seems like armor pen value has a higher impact on how much damage will be dealt to the armor as opposed to armor damage percent. That value does change a lot more for armors that you cannot penetrate though. This is a non-linear damage increase and it made it very difficult to model. It seems like the main factors are material destructibility times pen value times armor damage percent. This gets you reasonably close to damage done but it's overstating it in almost every case, but mostly when you shouldn't penetrate. I attempted to correct this by adjusting by armor class divided by pen value. Although the number of tests are skewed by a few ammo types, the total error that I have is around negative 1%, and the absolute error is around 10% for the formula I created. If you're interested, I welcome you to take a look at the data that I collected and the model, links in the description. If you're just curious about how much certain runs will do, a good rule of thumb is to multiply the destructibility times the pen value times the armor percent, and then subtract a bit, especially for much better materials. If someone can figure out the equation here, I would be extremely impressed. If you need any more data or have any feedback on this, let me know down below in the comments. Even though I didn't arrive at a solution I don't consider this a failure because I learned a ton about armor damage, but this is definitely not a success until we find out that magic equation. That does it for this video. If you enjoyed it or found it interesting or somehow entertaining, smack the like out of that shit button, consider subscribing for more Tarkov content in the future, and I will see you on the battlefield. CZ Chill out.